Peace, y'all. I, uh, I wanted to do a quick video. It's something that I've addressed before on my Instagram, but I haven't really addressed it here on my YouTube, and I'm really trying to focus a lot more to put more content on my YouTube channel, and uh, that is knowing what your value is, knowing what you bring to the table, knowing what your skill set brings to the table, and being able to really tell somebody that doesn't meet my standards, therefore I cannot continue this relationship. Um, and I'm not here to give marriage advice, I'm here talking about music. I'm talking about music production, I'm talking about being a producer. So, knowing your worth, you know, we could jump in and talk about how, you know, how much money you've spent on your equipment, how much money you've spent on your software, and somebody wants to come along and say, hey, uh, throw in, uh, throw me a beat or two, you know, and I'll, I'll help promote you. If you're at a certain point in your career, maybe that's something you want to do. But knowing what your talent level is and knowing where you stand with that talent should be the the level at which you decide to work with others and that also means how is the person that you're working with either acknowledging your value to bringing something to the table that increases your value and three are y'all on the same page about your creative direction? Which brings me to my final point. And the main reason I made this video today is somebody hit me up asking what I charge for beats. And my response was, I don't sell my beats. And they were a little puzzled. They were a little like, they didn't quite understand why I am uh, not selling my beats, uh, but it was—it's a simple answer, and I'll share it with you. And this is purely for me. This is—I'm not judging anyone on what what you do or how you handle your own business. But for me, I don't sell beats because I like to have full control over what my art does and who I share my art with in the studio um, on digital platforms I typically only work with people I'm very cool with people that I have aligned values and aligned views on the state of music or the type of music we're working on or three it's a bucket list and it's something I've really wanted to do and all else goes to the wind in that scenario. But by being someone who does not sell beats and that means I get to choose who I work with. I get to choose the level of creativity and time that I put into a project. The timeline is all on me and it makes my life so much easier. The money comes, the money comes and the money comes later, later on, you know, on the back end or depends on if there's a label involved or if there's somebody that's, you know, willing to front the, front the vinyl or the, you know, physical copies or things like that. So if you are in a situation where you can afford to take full control, I highly recommend it because I get to decide every move that I make and I know what my value is I know what I bring to the table I know what I want to do and where I want to go and I have a hundred percent control over that so know your value know where you stand only work with people that respect you and understand what your vision is and are aligned with that vision make the money when you can.